Hi, I'm Virginia. I'm an independent Stepping Up demonstrator from Edmonton, Alberta. And this video is not going to be a how do you do it card. It's going to be a show and tell. Um, I'm showing you right here the uh, schedule for my summer and fall card classes. Um, if you're in Canada, anywhere in Canada, you're invited to join us. Um, they're project-based classes. So you buy the stamp set through me and then I send you the makings to make six cards and we meet on Zoom uh, the last Thursday of each month from 7 to 9 ish and um, we make three cards and then one 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 from each set because there's um, three layouts and two cards from each layout so we just make one one card from um, of each in each set the um, Sweet Songbirds coming, Sweet Songbirds class is going to be on Thursday, um, the 30th. And um, if you already have the Sweet Songbirds bundle, um, or even the stamp set, and you have appropriate papers, you can join us for just $20, um, just to join the class and use your own product. And um, you can register at at my email address of vahodgins at aol.com and you can do a print screen of this and then you'll have the list for yourself um, on July 28th it's going to be glad we're friends and on Thursday the hello harvest bundle and on September 29th um, it's going to be the bottled happiness bundle um, I don't have um, cards prepared for the Hello Harvest Bundle or the Bottled Happiness Bundle yet, but I will do so later. Right now I'm concentrating on Sweet Songbirds and the Glad We're Friends. Okay, so I just want to show you um, the cards that we're making. This is one of them. It says a little note of thanks. This is another one, and this is using a technique about how to make clouds. You may already know it, but we'll be doing that anyway. And um, I in the kit, this will be already cut out for you like that. And this one is um, pre pretty simple as well. It's just using stamps. And this is using the punch. There's a punch that comes with it. This one has a punch on it, but I think in the class, we're just going to stamp on it just, just to do something different. And this is using the stamp and the punch. So they're all just a little bit different from each other okay so that's the first class the sweet songbirds and then the next one is glad we're friends just a minute sorry this is the sweet songbirds stamp set and uh, to be honest, when I saw it in the catalog, I wasn't terribly excited about it until I saw some of the uh, cards that were made from it. And they are so cute, really. They really are cute. So I decided I had to have it. So there we go. And this one is, the next one is Glad We're Friends. Um, and I have a friend who has had a corgi at one time, which I, that's what I thought of her. But I thought, and uh, this little guinea pig is so cute. So we've made a stamp making stamps with or cards using each one of the stamps this is the corgi just glad we're friends and then on the inside it says i'm blown away by you and this one is a friend like you comes along once in nine, nine lives this is glad we're friends and this one is growing older is mandatory Gr growing up is optional happy birthday and I just stamped these two on a circle. I cut the circle, punched the circle out, and I've sent that as well in the kit. So it's up to you to stamp the, the guinea pig. And this little guy, I fussy cut him out, and I stuck him partway under there. So there would have been in, like everything you need, um, except for the stamps, and, and the punch and the sweet songbirds bundle are, are provided. Like I, I send you those. Okay, and I also I just wanted to um, remind people that stamping up is not just cards. I made this page the other day, 
these are old retired memories and more um, cards um, they've got some really pretty ones out in the moment I've got one on one on the way and I'm going to order another one um, but this is stampin this is not stampin up paper but it was the only color I had I didn't have a stampin up sheet this big so I took it from somewhere at my stash this is stampin up but these are all this is part of the cards and I just wrote a story on it I took I had to get another one on the other side I just glued it on this one and I printed this out on the on the printer, so, you know, and and glued that on. So that's this is a, a trail ride, a competitive trail ride that my horse and I did in 1985. So it's a long time ago. It was a hundred kilometer ride, and she loved every minute of it. And um, this is one piece that's about six inches long and I split it down the middle and just spread it out. So I just cut these pieces off um, off the ends. This was a sticker and so I like to get my own handwriting on my my scrapbooking pages now and again. I, I don't bear my heart on a scrapbook page but I will I like do like to write write um, something on it in, in my own handwriting. Most of the time I will journal on the computer because I can get more words into the space on the computer. Um, and I used to use it when I was doing scrapbook pages, I would do it on vellum and, and put it through and then use ink that matched the, the, the page. So everything all blended together. But these are all, next, next, you know, and this is, I did this on the printer, but these are all just pieces of the memory some more cards. So you can scrapbook like 12 by 12 pages and you can also scrapbook the um, uh, using the Memories More albums. And they have the just the pocket pages. I don't have one at the moment. What I do, my daughter's using it for something. But I also want to show you that you can make albums. I made this one. This is the hand pen papers, and this, this, these come out. And these open up. This is all scrapbooking paper, all um, stampin' up paper that I've used for these. This, this comes down. This is a pocket. These are three pockets. Two pockets. There was a pocket there and a pocket there. This slides out. These two both fit into where's it, into that one. This one. You can journal on that or put a skinny card or picture. Or just put one whole picture on there. It doesn't matter. This one opens out a pocket in here to put something, you know. So there's all kinds of things you can do. And this was in here. There's a, I designed that for hip here. I decided I didn't like it, so I liked it down there better. So this opens up, and this comes out. And this actually, it works better down here because I can put that in there and keep it closed. And this comes out. It's a sideways waterfall, and this one looks out like that. And the front and back have have pockets. It's really fun doing these. I love doing them. And but this is all stamping up paper, so there's no reason you know why you have to stick to cards. You can do other things as well. And I also like doing 3D projects. Okay, I saw this online um, from a lady to, called on a YouTube channel called Mixed Up Crafts, and um, I had to try it. And I, I made the box, and I put the paper on it, and my daughter decorated it. There was a bow on the other side that came off, but, but and this opens up, and she had it filled with um, lint chocolates for Mother's Day. I thought it was good, so I love doing that kind of thing too. <clears throat> and this is all stamped up paper. These are old. Hmm. Yeah, I think they were in the last catalog. So, so stamping up is not just cards; it's everything else, right? So I, I just wanted to to show you some of the the things that I've been doing, and let's cover that up. <laughs> there. 
So these will be my next two card kits from this bundle and this bundle. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, my video, please push like and subscribe because I'm trying to get up to at least 500. I'm trying to get up to 500 subscribers. And after that, I'll go for next, um, next milestone. But I thought I'd aim for 500 for the moment. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you would. And I'm going to be putting the um, links to the items I use to make these cards in down below in the video, down below the video in the in the comment section, uh, in the show more section. Sorry. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.